Hey guys, so this is a new video, uh, and I'm going to attempt to show off and explain uh, sort of a cover implementation for DudeBro. So uh, this takes a little bit of setup. Essentially, uh, on the screen right now, you can see uh, three boxes, and then the top left one, you see a, a bunch of littler boxes around them. Uh, those are called nodes, and they don't they won't be showing up uh, in the game but I wanted to leave them up so that I could show you in debug mode uh, how the cover system is working. So I'm going to go ahead and press play here and uh, I'm the guy in the center and you'll see uh, the enemy right here and the enemy right here have sort of tried to take cover from me and I can illustrate that better, oh and the enemy down here as well, uh, and I can illustrate that better by moving my character up and you can see they try to take better positions um, depending upon where I am so uh, also the guy down there is doing the same. Now you can notice in the bottom left that uh, those uh, boxes or nodes around the uh, the main cover uh, are rotating with me. And that's part of the implementation here uh, and that's better shown if I go to scene mode so you can see what's really happening. So here in scene mode you can see all of these uh, green rays being shot out from those boxes. Uh, that's actually happening on every uh, piece of cover in the scene and if I move the character, let's see take the player here, if I move him around you can actually see those rays uh, from those boxes. Now one one of the boxes uh, won't show a ray coming out of it and that's because that's the box that, that uh, the enemy is currently deciding to hide in. Um, now the nodes, the nice thing about this is that they're they're placeable essentially wherever a designer wants to place them. So if we have some nice models uh, or, or structures and a designer wants to pick uh, where the cover locations will be, uh, then this kind of system will work for them pretty well. Uh, so again, as I move my character around, you can actually see every single enemy is trying to take cover in independently. Um, so as for another feature, uh, the way the enemy AI is working here is it basically says where's the closest cover and that's those these boxes again uh, and then it says what's the node attached to that piece of cover that can't see the player so uh, and then they'll go to that node and this is this is something that's toggleable let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that if I go to any given uh, enemy I'll take that guy for example. I can tell him to stop taking cover. So you can see now that he's running to to my character. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that to all three of the enemies because I want to show one more thing. Let's see. There we go. And last guy. Okay, so now these enemies don't take cover anymore. And actually, that's just a it's a boolean t uh, t flag that we can use to sort of on the fly decide when an enemy needs to take cover. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move. Whoops, I'm moving the enemy. I'm going to go ahead and move the player to uh, this node down here at the bottom. And what you'll what you'll see here is again, if I go to the enemies and I tell them all to take cover, you'll find that uh, well that guy didn't really take the best cover there. There's still some glitches, but I'm going to go ahead and there we go. So I told them all to take cover. Oh, that guy knows what he's doing. Um, <clears throat> and if I move the player around now, notice that they've all taken the uh, closest cover uh, instead of going for you know the one that they started near or anything like that. And so that that gives it a more realistic uh, flair, so that the enemies don't seem real stupid. Um, and uh, and that's basically it. I, I can't I don't have my window set to show you guys how the <clears throat> cover objects the cover game objects look but basically they each have four nodes and they can have as many as they want and those nodes are just uh, in this case they're just primitives uh, and the code will just go through and gather all of them and start shooting rays so uh, none of the designers would have to worry about how those work they just have to make sure that they're parented to a, a, a cover game object and that that cover game object is set as a, a coverable, uh, with a coverable tag. And as people become familiar with Unity, that won't be too difficult. So anyways, I hope you guys like this uh, uh, somewhat buggy but workable demo. 
Thanks.